ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Good evening, my fellow Americans. We now stand 10 years past the midpoint of a century that has witnessed four major wars among great nations. Until the latest of our world conflicts, the United States had no armaments industry. Now this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is new in the American experience. Our toil, resources, and livelihood are all involved. So is the very structure of our society. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. What kind of a peace do I mean and what kind of a peace do we seek? Not a Pax Americana enforced on the world by American weapons of war. Not the peace of the grave or the security of the slave. I am talking about genuine peace the kind of peace that makes life on earth worth living, the kind that enables men and nations to grow and to hope and build a better life for their children, not merely peace for Americans, but peace for all men and women, not merely peace in our time, but peace in all time. Hello, everybody. I'm Robert F. Kennedy, Jr. 60 years ago this month, my uncle, President John F. Kennedy, gave one of the most important speeches in his life and in American history. It was known as the Peace Speech at American University. And that speech led directly to the signing of the first major treaty of the nuclear age. In that speech, he outlined his vision, not just for peace in our time, but for peace in all times. On June 20th, in commemoration of that speech, I will deliver my first major policy speech of my presidential campaign. I will describe my vision for peace, for diplomacy, and how I will end our country's addiction to forever wars. I'm Robert F. Kennedy, Jr. I'm running for President of the United States, and I approve this message.